Well, I know you stepped out on the ice today uh, by yourself, got some skating in, but tell us where you're at right now. Yeah, just really excited to be back in the team setting and be back with these guys and um, keep working every day to get myself back so I can uh, start playing hockey games again. I know this is a special group. You've said it before. So what does it mean to come back to not only a hockey team, but to this group specifically? Yeah, like you said, just really special group. Um, we got real close last year in the playoff run. Um, you know, there's new, new faces, too, that I'm excited to interact with on a daily basis, too. So um, very easy group to come back into and join. And physically, how are you feeling today? Feeling really good, yeah. Like over the last little bit here, starting to feel like myself again and just excited to be on the ice and start banging around a little bit and seeing really how it feels. Hey, you were having a really good training camp. How tough was it to get that injury when you did when you know you were, you were playing so well? Yeah, it's tough uh, anytime you get an injury, um, you know, especially early in the season and you're trying to make a hockey team. Um, it's not it's not what you, you think about uh, when you come into camp. So um, I really just tried to stay with it. Uh, and try to get myself back to where I was at the start of camp, and hopefully, you know, good things will come for me. Coach is out there too. Couldn't help but see the energy he brings to the group all the time, eh? Yeah, well, I mean, just having him around every day. Obviously, we trained together, and we did the, the same rehab program. Um, he definitely pushed me along the way, and I pushed him too, and um, it was very helpful to have him with me. You know, he's such a good kid, uh, infectious personality. I got one more for you, and it's kind of an easy question. There's some things making the rounds on social media about it's in minor league hockey and somebody was really physically or, or mentally abusing an official. Um, just your thoughts on that, how we have to respect officials in the game of hockey. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, I know the video you're talking about. I, I myself had a really hard time watching it. I mean, those coaches, uh, the parents, everybody in the rink, those are the role models for these kids. And uh, to set that type of example is really tough to see. So I think it's on uh, us players to continue to show that respect within hockey and um, especially the referees. I mean, they have the, the toughest job in the rink, so if there's anybody uh, to, show, to have the respect, it's those guys for sure.